Well, hello, folks, and welcome to the Alamo Mortgage Holdings webinar. In this webinar, we're going to be talking about how you can earn a significant passive income long term over many years by making the wise decision to purchase one of our corporate income bonds that are secured by uh, real estate in the United States. We, we purchase packages of mortgages in the United States. But before I go through this presentation, uh, I want to read a very brief legal disclaimer, and then I'll go through everything. So here is the disclaimer. As accredited investors, you will be aware that all investments carry some level of risk. This investment is only available to investors who are able to assess their own appetite for risk. Please read the risk statement within the investment memorandum before proceeding. Okay, fantastic. So let's uh, let's get started. I'm going to go over the product fact sheet for Alamo Mortgage Holdings. We sell a corporate income bond that pays 8% interest. Uh, it is paid on a regular schedule, and you can select a term of three to 50 years. The team that is working for you at Alamo Mortgage Holdings has 200 years of business experience with 100 years in the mortgage and the real estate industry in Texas. And uh, this is something that we can sell you a bond that's denominated in either British pound sterling or in US dollar or in euro, whatever you prefer. And we'll go through how some some options on that. So the the terms that we offer, we have a three year bond, a five year bond, and a fifty year bond, and all of them pay eight percent. Once per year, we pick an interest rate that we want to offer on that series of bonds, and the twenty twenty three series of bonds pays eight percent. So if you want to lock in a long term eight percent rate. You could, for example, purchase a five-year bond. And by the way, that often works better than trying to get a 20% rate of return doing deals, because a lot of times if you try for that 20%, you might successfully get one or two deals done, but sometimes the money's coming back if you're, if you're doing deals and keeping it deployed at a good solid average rate is a, is a great way. And that's what we can do. You can place the money one time, place the capital one time, and for many years earn a good solid rate of return. Okay, I want to talk about UK investors in particular. Uh, and this is something that I think is so, so relevant. Um, you know, in the United Kingdom, ever since uh, Bretton Woods Agreement, uh, back when the exchange rate, when one British pound would purchase four American dollars back in 1945, the British pound has over the decades lost value against the US dollar. And it has lost value, lost value, lost value. Now, sometimes when I talk to investors from the UK, they may say something like, well, you know, why would I wanna get 8% secured by American mortgage notes? I can get investments here in the UK that pay 8% or maybe nine or 10%. Well, that is a great question and it deserves an answer. Because there's a big difference between getting an 8% rate of return in US dollars and an 8% rate of return in British pound sterling, especially if you look at over the long term. So the point is, if you want to diversify some of your currency holdings where you don't have 100% of your currency in British pound sterling, Alamo Mortgage Holdings can sell you a bond that's denominated in US dollars. So the way we do that is we convert it for you. We don't make any money on the conversion. We use the listed exchange rate in the newspaper. Whatever it is on that day, that's what we convert it at. So we're not trying to earn fees by you know getting a little conversion fee. We're not about that. Uh, so then you you can do that. Or if on the on the opposite, if you if you're a pound bull, if you just know that the British pound sterling is going to go higher, that's fine. We can sell you the bond in British pounds, and we can pay you in British pounds. Either way, we're willing to work with you. A lot of our investors they they are kind of in the situation where maybe they're not sure, and in that case, we suggest maybe do half in pounds and half in dollars. That way, you get some uh, some less exposure to the currency. Okay. How can we pay 8%? That's a question that we are asked from time to time, and I'm going to answer it. The reason that we can pay 8% 
is because we are earning more than 8%. We, I'll take an example here. Let's say there's a mortgage in the United States that has a value of $100,000. Let's say that that private mortgage pays a 10% rate of interest. Alamo Mortgage Holdings would purchase that sort of mortgage, for example, for $70,000. That would mean that even though the mortgage note pays 10%, uh, the yield on the note is now 14.2%. And just to remind some of you who may not remember, uh, the current yield is just the annual cash flow divided by the price you bought the asset at. So in that case, we've got a 14.2% yield and it's easy to pay 8%. In reality, we're going for even higher than 14.2%. You know, but that's how that's how it works. We buy packages of mortgage notes at a steep, steep discount. So what determines the value of the note? Sometimes when people hear about note purchasing, they think, man, that's a great idea. I should do that. Well, you know what? It is a good idea. But if you're going to do it, you should have a proper education in note buying. Uh, so I want to point out some things that you may or may not be aware of. Uh, there's basically six factors that drive the value of a mortgage note. And in order to buy mortgage notes, you need to know how this works. It's real important. The first thing is you need to look at the buyer uh, that is the payer, the guarantor of the note. So whoever it was that bought the property, how good is their credit score? Uh, that's an important factor. Are they a government employee? Do they get regular payments from the government or are they self-employed? Self-employed can be riskier because the, the payments there are not guaranteed by the government on a salary. What about the collateral? Let's imagine a situation where a property is worth, has a market value of 100,000, but somebody managed to get lucky and they found an out of town buyer that they sold it to for 200,000 that just didn't know the value, that just simply overpaid. Well, that doesn't make that note worth 200,000. The collateral is only worth 100,000. So you've got to know what the collateral is worth. The other thing that's important is the equity, the buyer's equity. How much did the buyer put down? Did they put down 10%? Did they put down 20%? In general, the more money they put down, the less risk of default because that buyer has more to lose. The interest rate also drives the value of a note. So if you had a choice between buying a 10% note and a 5% note, assuming the collateral and all the other factors were identical, of course you want the 10% rate. You're going to make more money. Another thing that you need to be aware of is the history of the note, the record of the payments. Have the payments been verified by a servicing company or is the seller of the mortgage note simply telling you, yeah, it's a great uh, deal and I've got an Excel spreadsheet and I wrote in here that he always pays around the first of the month and uh, you know it's wonderful. It's better if it's third party serviced where you don't have to just take the seller's word for it. Um, the paperwork was the paperwork done properly. Did lawyers prepare the paperwork or was it just done at a kitchen table with two guys that agreed on a deal that were not lawyers that jumped on a computer and used legal Zoom or God knows what else? OK, so that is basically what are important factors. And if you're going to buy notes, you should be aware of those things. And really, it takes some time getting proper education to be a good note buyer. And for that reason, it often works out better if you like the idea of buying mortgage notes, but you don't have the time to go become a professional note buyer. Alamo Mortgage Holdings has a solution for you. You can you can partner with our company where you purchase uh, where you purchase a corporate income bond, and then we can pay you 8% and you don't have to hassle with any of that. And uh, frankly, a lot of new note buyers that don't know what they're doing don't even make 8% because they make a bunch of mistakes. They purchase a second lien note that, without knowing how to value it property, properly. They they take a seller's Excel spreadsheet that tells them the guy's always paying, and then he just magically stops paying after the after the deal is done. So you may not always work out so well on your own, but this is an opportunity where you can, if you're a busy professional, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you're a dentist, maybe you're the CEO of a tech company, and you just don't have time to do this, but you like the idea of building up some passive income, Alamo Mortgage Holdings has a solution for you. Here's an example. 
Uh, this is a real property. It's not something that we have in the portfolio, but it's designed to illustrate this. So it's a house priced at 120,000. Imagine that the seller tried to sell the house, could not sell it with a real estate agent listing it on the market. And the only buyer that came forward was maybe somebody that had a down payment of 20,000. And they said, I want to buy this. I'd love to have a place uh, for my family. I want to buy it. And the seller said, well, great, just go to the bank and get a mortgage. And, and the buyer said, well, I can't get a mortgage. The bank won't give me a mortgage. They say I'm self-employed. And they say that I have bad credit. And then they the, the seller said, well, if you want me to finance it to you, uh, I'm not going to finance it to you at a low rate of interest like a bank because it's riskier for me. I, I And I need more money. I want 10%. And they agreed on 10%. And uh, this particular buyer actually turned out to be good. He made 60 months of payments on time like Clockworth. He's paying $877.57 a month. And the unpaid balance on the note after 60 months of payments is $96,574. Now imagine that that seller one day wakes up and he needs cash. For whatever reason, he needs cash or he wants cash. He decides, I'm going to sell my note. So the first thing he does is he calls up the, uh, the the buyer that's living in the property that's making the payments. And he says, hey, can you get that bank loan now? You've been there a long time. Will the bank give you a loan? And then the, 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 the homeowner says, no, the bank still won't give me a loan. I still have a bad credit score and uh, I still am self-employed. So then the seller jumps on the internet and types in sell a mortgage note for cash. And he finds a company like Alamo Mortgage Holdings. He calls that company and he says, I've got a note and I want to sell it for cash. I'm owed $96,574. Why don't you pay me $96,574? And then the game begins. The conversation begins about all of the things that were done wrong on the note. And basically, the buyer is going to offer typically less than $96,574. Uh, for example, let's imagine the buyer wants to get a 12% yield. They, the most they could offer would be 83322 But of course, they're going to try to offer less than that. But this is something when these notes are purchased at a discount, the equity in the note increases. So if the buyer, were, if the if the payments were to ever stop, the note holder is in a really good position because there's equity in the note. Okay, I'm going to show here an example of a package of mortgage notes, just so you can see what a real package of mortgage notes. This is the type of thing that Alamo Mortgage Holdings might purchase. Well, this right here is actually an example of what a portfolio of loan notes might look like. So this is a this is actually a real portfolio, and uh, you look here and you can see the name of the borrower, the number of months, you can see the interest rate. This this debt is actually pretty high, 14.75% is what they're paying on that mortgage. The monthly payment is 278.50. Then you can see the terms, the status, this sort of thing. So I mean you've got a list here and this is an example of a package where uh, a package of these mortgages can be purchased. This type of deal would be done by a larger uh, investor. It would not typically be a single investor that would buy this package. For example, uh, my company, Alamo Mortgage Holdings, this is the type of package that we might actually purchase, something like this. But if you're just starting out in investing, you, 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 know, you might start out by you're just going to buy one mortgage note. So for example, you might come in and this mortgage note, uh, if you find something like this out on the market, you might try to negotiate down from, you know, the unpaid balance of 89,570. Maybe you try to buy it for 59,000 or 69,000, but that would be one note, but you can also buy purchase packages of notes. And that's something that Alamo Mortgage Holdings is uh, involved with. It's a company that's a United Kingdom company that actually purchases packages of mortgage notes. So wanted to give you an idea of what a package of notes look like. All right. Fantastic. So that's, this, that's what it looks like. Now, 
from time to time, I'm asked the question by people, well, you know, inflation's kind of high right now. Why would anybody buy a bond if inflation is high? Well, that is a great question. Rather than me giving you Benjamin Z. Meller's opinion, I'm going to talk about a Nobel Prize winning economist named Harry Markowitz. Harry Markowitz, if any of you have accounts at Merrill Lynch or at BlackRock or at Bank of America, they just love this sort of work that Harry Markowitz did. And they, they use it in a lot of their portfolio design. Uh, it, he won the 1990 Nobel Prize for, for modern portfolio theory. Uh, but you know what's so interesting about it is modern portfolio theory, even though all these BlackRock and Merrill Lynch and Bank of America love to use it, uh, Harry Markowitz himself, even though he created all this stuff, he didn't actually use it in his own investing. I mean, it's kind of funny. What he did was he would divide his portfolio where he'd put 50% in bonds and he'd put 50% in stocks. That's pretty simple. That doesn't take a lot of time to figure out. And then he would once a year adjust. So if the stocks went up a great deal in value, he would sell some of the stocks and he would buy bonds and vice versa. If the, if the stocks went down a great deal in value, he would sell some of his bonds and he would buy stocks. So that is an interesting thing. And you might think about your own portfolio. You might try to figure out what percentage is in bonds, you know, and it's just something that if you want to increase the percentage that is in bonds, Alamo Mortgage Holdings can help you with that. And our bonds pay hundreds of basis points and hundreds of pounds over what you might earn on UK gilts or other government bonds. And yeah, they're not government guaranteed bonds, but I'll tell you what, they are backed by real assets, by hard assets. So it's not like uh, some of these bonds out there that aren't backed by really anything. So that is definitely worth considering. Okay, why Texas? I mean, why why do we do this? Why are we not buying all over the United States? I mean, we certainly could, but the reason we don't buy all over the United States is we want to have uh, the best focus on the best state. And Texas right now is that state because most of the team that we have together at Alamo Mortgage Holdings is from Texas or has lived in Texas. A lot of, a lot of the, the experience that we have that's the, that's the right word. A lot of the experience, if you take the, we've got a hundred years of experience in the mortgage and the real estate industry in Texas on our team. Now we've got 200 years of general business experience. Texas is a great state because people are moving into Texas. They choose to move into Texas because other states like California and New York, they make so many laws that a lot of people get fed up with it and they decide, you know what, I'm just going to move. I'm just going to move to Texas because Texas is much better. Uh, so that has the effect of as people move in, it pushes the real estate prices higher. It increases the demand for Texas real estate and our notes, our mortgage notes are backed by Texas real estate. So it is something that uh, is a benefit. And Texas also is favorable where if you need to, to enforce your rights on a mortgage note, you have more ability than in a state like New York. Okay, let's go over the features. We can help you reach your passive income goals more quickly. If you're looking for 3,000 pounds a month, 5,000 pounds a month, 10,000 pounds a month, or more if you're an institutional investor, we can help you get that done quickly. Um, we offer maximum diversification where you're secured across many mortgages instead of just one. We don't charge our investors any fees. I get people all the time that come and they tell me about their low fee index fund and they're so proud of their low fee index fund. Hell, we're not even going to charge you any fees, folks. Just our business model is so simple. We buy debt at its steep discount. I mean, there's nothing to understand about it. And they'll go brag about their low cost index fund. I mean, if why even pay that? Why not get the no fees? At least to me, that makes sense. Interest payment flexibility, we can work with you on that. Uh, illustration of returns, it's so simple. You put 100,000 pounds in, you're going to earn 8,000 pounds a year. Do that for five years, you're going to earn 40,000 pounds and get your 100,000 pounds back. Do it for 50 years, you're going to earn 400,000 pounds in interest and you're going to get 
uh, your 100,000 pounds back. The team, I'm just going to, I encourage you to go to the website and look at the team, www.alamomortgageholdings.co.uk. As for myself, uh, I'm a businessman. I've got uh, a lot of experience in uh, real estate. I've bought millions of dollars worth of properties over the over the years uh, in the United States and in Europe. Uh, we have a team that has 200 years of business experience. Uh, our team members have overseen up to a billion in financial assets. Our team has worked with Microsoft, Chevron, Exxon, Eventbrite, and Fora Financial. So you've got a great team. Um, Marina Zaharelska, she's our international investment coordinator. She graduated from the EU Business School, and uh, she speaks five languages, and she's up to six now. She's learning Portuguese. She is so smart. Uh, Scott Wynn is our industry expert for Alamo Mortgage Holdings. He has a lot of experience buying notes and he's a specialist in getting the notes to pay. Fred Hobbs, our director of mortgage servicing, he has been a licensed mortgage originator in the state of Texas since the year 2000. He has been involved in thousands of uh, mortgage note originations. And uh, he also earns a, owns a top-notch mortgage note servicing company called SecureNet Loan Servicing. And let me tell you, folks, if you decide you're going to try this on your own, you need to get a good quality servicing company like SecureNet Loan Servicing. And Fred Hobbs, you should reach out to his company in Texas. They know what they're doing. They're so good. Uh, but I wouldn't suggest trying it on your own at first. Maybe start by buying some bonds with Alamo. And then as you learn more about the business, start doing it on your own if you if you love it. So that's that's how that works. David Jones is a attorney, licensed attorney in Texas. He is our in-house counsel and he helps us making sure that all of the legal paperwork is done properly. He's a third generation lawyer. Great. Mark DeRider is our chief technical officer. He is so skilled at technology. It is amazing. Um, he has uh, been involved in creating a lot of commercial mortgage software. If you've ever used some of this software to calculate mortgages, there's a possibility if it's commercial software, he may have had a hand in designing some of that. Andrew Richings is a consultant, and he is the founder of Thomas Kelly Holdings in the UK, a boutique private consultancy firm that focuses on private equity, fixed income bonds for ultra high net worth and high net worth sophisticated investors. Uh, and he brings a lot of experience to the team. Why should you invest in the notes? If you're looking for passive income, if you want above average returns, how long term is the note? Three, five, or 50 years. Can you put the notes into your SIP, your self-invested personal pension? That's up to your SIP provider, but I see no reason it wouldn't qualify. What type of investment? It's corporate income bonds. You're not buying government bonds, obviously. Is it a regulated product? No, and that's part of the reason that we can pay so much more. We haven't gone through the additional expense of regulation. You know, at some point we may do that, but, but not right now. So you can benefit from the fact that we haven't had to pass on those expenses to our bondholders. Uh, who can invest? If you are over the 18, over the age of 18, a trust company, a charity, um, come one, come all, uh, as long as you're an accredited or a sophisticated investor, how's the money protected? We have multiple layers of security on that. We can discuss it one-on-one -on -one sometime. Can I invest uh, through a company or joint applications permitted? Yes. How's the tax managed? We pay all the money to you. We don't deduct anything for the tax. We just let you and your tax person figure that out. Are there any limits on how much I can invest? No, we welcome larger placements. Uh, can you get access to the money early? No, this is not like day trading where you can just, oh, you know, I think something happened. I read a newspaper story. I better sell it at a loss real quick. You know, those day traders, they just burn up money anyway. Only one out of 100 of them even make any money with all that nonsense about they're going to get ahead of the news and they're going to trade and they're going to do this. They've done studies. You're better off, well, I'll put it this way. In my view, in my view, an investor is better off if they just take a position and hold a position for a period of years, as long as it's a good solid company and there's a 
good rate of return compared to doing all that day trading. You know, I see people get burned all the time on that crypto stove. You know, they buy a crypto coin and they think that it's going to go to the moon and then boom, they get burned. Uh, so bonds are a classic and they're there for they're there for the investor that is looking for something a little more stable. Um, to invest, just get in touch with us. Just go to www.alamomortgageholdings.co.uk, fill out the contact form. We love to hear from new people, or you can call me. At, I've got a US number, plus one, and then 817-203-4160. I hope that helps. We have these meetings, every, these webinars every Thursday at 1 p.m. London time, and you are invited. If you happen to see this on the internet, you're invited. I, I hope that helps, and good luck with your investing.